Welcome to the Agency Site User Guide step-by-step -step tutorial series. In this tutorial, we're going to cover step seven of your site user guide, which is managing forms and submitting midterm and final evaluations. So let's get started. When you log into Sonia, you're going to see a tab called Forms. Under this tab, you will find midterm and final evaluations. You'll have access to student project management plans and associated contracts. Some forms require your approval and some forms are for your information only. Navigating from your Sonia homepage, all you have to do is click on the Forms tab. And this should take you to all the available forms to you. So like I said before, that might include a project management plan from your student or an evaluation. So we do midterm and final evaluations for the CHS 494 course. I do believe the master's program have their own evaluations as well. Evaluations are only available about two weeks, maybe even three weeks before it's actually due. And the cool thing about Sonia is it tells you when it's actually due. So this one is due in 16 days. And by this little icon right here, I can tell it's brand new. Whereas under students, I see there is a project management plan and it's for the summer 2019 cohort and it's test student here. And you see here it says completed mine, zero out of zero. If you see zero out of zero, that means it requires no action on your part and that it's more a, an FYI item, meaning for your information. And then completed zero out of two, which means the student hasn't even submitted it. So when the student submits it, it'll say one out of two. And then when the field office approves it, it'll say two out of two. But if you want to actually view the project management plan and see what the student actually submitted, you can click this little paper icon and it brings up exactly what the student submitted to the field office in terms of their project. Now their project management plan should have been discussed with you, the preceptor, meaning you had a meeting, you discussed what the project's gonna be, and then the student went back to the drawing board and they said, okay, my overarching goal is to increase antimicrobial stewardship among skilled nursing facilities in Northern Nevada. So a good goal statement, one, identifies a public health problem, and two, tells a little bit about the activities in which the student is going to do to alleviate or work towards that problem. And then you'll also see a comment box to which the field office will provide comments and tell them either they need to revise it or make suggestions. And they have to fill out at least two objectives with associated activities, anticipated outcomes, resources, skills, estimated hours, and anticipated completion date. If you want to work on this with your student, fantastic. It's not required, but you should go in here and just double check that they are doing what you discussed because students don't always understand your business and what you're trying to accomplish. And you could tell real fast after reviewing their project management plan whether or not they're on the right track. And then the field office will be nitpicky about, well, this needs to be a SMART goal, specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and time sensitive. Or are you sure that this is a realistic date? Or maybe you need to expand your activities and things of that nature. However, I know this form is not actionable by me either, not just out of that zero out of zero that we just talked about, but you can also see there's no actionable buttons at the bottom of this form. Going back to the forms page, let's talk about student evaluation. So a new form that is actionable by you will be under this mine header. And I know it's actionable a few reasons. One, it says it's new, and two, it says it's due in 16 days, and I have the option to actually edit. Now, in this example, if I, I have a couple cohorts that I can choose from, so you wanna make sure if this is available, you choose the correct cohort. And then once you do that, a drop down menu will have you specify the student, and then you'll see that it drops to under students. But 
for this example, I'm actually just going to press this edit pencil. And now you can see this is the midterm student evaluation. You're going to get the same midterm evaluation every single semester. It gives you your scoring guide. So these are the criteria in which we want you to measure each of your students. Professionalism, communication skills, quality of work, quantity of work, and overall performance. So an F is zero. Below average is a D. Average is a C. Above average is a B and exceptional is an A. And you can see there's no in between grades. So there's no B minuses and there's no C minuses. So that's something to take into consideration when you're filling out these evaluations. Also, I know lots of preceptors because a lot of us that's been in the work world for quite a while know that a lot of times on evaluations, your boss always says they give you like one one score below an exceptional because you always have room to grow. Um, but keep in mind that if you do that, your student is getting a 17. So anything below an exceptional, your student is going to want to know why they got that specific grade. So be prepared to explain that. Although I should tell you that evaluation submitted Go straight to the field office. They're available on your Sonia page only. Nobody else in your agency can see that evaluation, and the student can't see that evaluation. So if you want to share information on this evaluation with your student, you're going to have to do that before you submit it to the field office. And, you know, entering information, and then you can see here, here are the criteria that we just talked about in that rubric. And then you can choose what grade you want to give student. And you can see by the little star here that it's a mandatory field. And then, of course, we want to assess student strengths, areas of improvement, any additional comments. And if you are taking students in one of the main semesters, such as the spring or the fall semester, we want to know whether or not you'd be willing to be on our career panel expo that we hold at the end of each of those semesters and you can save the draft now if you save the draft it'll just stay there in your queue nobody will be able to see it because you're technically working on it however once you submit the evaluation that goes to the field office so when you're ready to do so make sure you're submitting that evaluation action button now that you know where to find the midterm and final evaluation, the field office wanted to give you some tips on these important evaluations. Not only do they help develop our future public health practitioners, they are also 50% of the student's grade. And if they are not turned in on time, your student could potentially fail the course. Our advice is to establish expectations early, like within the first two weeks when you're orienting them to the agency, talking about dress codes and call-in procedures. Talk to your student about your leadership and preferred communication styles. Give them a detailed map on how to get that guaranteed A for their evaluations. Also, maximize the impact of those evaluations. Draft a copy of the evaluation first. Schedule a check-in prior to officially submitting it and review it with your student. That way, your student will not be shocked when they see their grade in web campus. Also, the midterm evaluation is super uber important. This is the best opportunity to highlight strengths, provide them with constructive feedback and what to work on before the final evaluation. That's when the change is really going to happen. And lastly, remember the field office and class instructor is your best resource, especially when you're mitigating challenging situations and students. Use us. Use us as a sounding board. We can provide advice based on our past history and even provide mediation if needed. We are there for you. And that completes step seven, completing forms and evaluations. Be sure to read your site user guide for more information.